have got time for a story tonight. I spent all my time talking to you, then cooking dinner, and then I got in a conversation with my landlord because I locked myself out of my apartment. That was not fun. My door blew open. I thought, I should close that. I locked myself out. So I'm able to, <laughs> I'm able to read you a story now. But I didn't, wasn't able to actually record with the camera because my camera was in my room, which I was not in. So, <laughs> number 21, Archie creates a situation. Whoever owns the typewriter that this sticking in will confer, a favor by mailing it to a Mr. Marquis. Well, boss, I am somewhere in Long Island, and I know now how it got its name. I started out to find the place you are commuting from, and after considerable trouble and being for some days on this way, I have lost myself, but at twilight last evening I happened to glance upward towards a light in lighted window in a house near the railway, and I saw a young woman sitting on a typewriter. I waited until the light was out and crawled up the side of the house and threw a hole in the screen. Fortunately, there was a piece of paper in the machine. It was only my only chance to communicate with you and ask you to hurry a relief party. When the house got quiet, I began to write. The foregoing, <laughs> the foregoing a moment ago, I was interrupted by a woman's voice. Was that noise? What is that noise? She said, nothing at all, said a man's voice. You are always hearing things at night. But it sounded as if my typewriter were clicking. She insisted, go to sleep, said he. Then I clicked it some more. Henry hang up, she said. There's someone on the house. A moment later, the light was turned on. And they both stood in the doorway of the room now. Are you satisfied, he said. You see, there is no one here at all. I was hiding in the shadow under the keys. They went back into their bedroom, and I began to write the foregoing lines. Henry, Henry, she said, do you hear that? I do, he said, it is nothing but the house cooling off. It always cracks that way. Cooling off nothing, she said, not a hot night like this. Then, said Henry, it is cracking with heat. I tell you, she said, that the typewriter clicking. Well, he said, you saw for yourself the room was empty and the door was locked. It can't be the typewriter. To prove it to you, I will bring it in here. He did so. The machine was set down in the moonlight, which came in one of the windows with the key side in the shadow. There, he said, look at it and see for yourself that it is not being operated by anyone. Just then I began to write the foregoing lines, hopping from key to key in the shadow and being anxious to finish my... God, my God, cried Henry, losing his nerve. The machine is writing all by itself. It is a ghost and threw himself face downward on the bed, and hid his face in the pillow, and kept on saying, My God, my God, it is a ghost. And the woman screamed, and said, It is Tom Higginbottom. The ghost, whose ghost? It is, oh, I know whose ghost. It is in my conscience, tells me, I jilted him when we were studying stenography together. After college. And he went into a decline and died, and I have always known in my heart he died of unrequited love, and that a wicked girl I was, and he has come back to haunt me. I have brought a curse upon you, Henry. Chase him away, says Henry, trembling. So the bed shook. Chase him away, you nabble, you coward. Chase him away yourself, says Mabel. And both lay and recremented and recremented with their heads under the covers. Hot night, though it was while I wrote the foregoing lines. But after a while it came out, Henry had a stenographer on his conscience too, and they got into a row, and got so mad they forgot to be scared. I will close now this house It is easily seen from the railroad station, and the woman sits in the window and writes, I will be behind the waste paper receptacle outside of the station door. Come in and get me. I am footsore and weary. They are still quarreling. As I close, I can do no less than say thank you, Mabel and Henry, in advance for many minutes. All right, Christy. Sleep well. Keep calm. Find your honor. Carry in. And I will not lock myself out of my house next time. And I will have a better story. I love you, Christy. Good night. Sleep well. Good night.